Oh yes, we've gone there. If you think any beef I have with Dora and the Lost City of Gold has anything to do with the fact that it's a children's movie, you would be wrong. Because I can't even confirm that it's fully a children's movie. Last time I checked, Dora the Explorer did not have to fear for her actual safety. And here are people shooting air ropes at her. I'm also a little concerned Backpack is going to eat her arm off. This thing is nightmare fuel. Oh no, help me, I'm being eaten. Anyways, what is Dora in the Lost City of Gold? So it's Dora the Explorer, right? But if you don't know who Dora the Explorer is, there's an animated show that was on Nick Jr. And it ran for like, I think, 15 years. It's about a little girl who speaks Spanish and she has her friend Boots the Monkey and an array of friends and they go on adventures of exploring. And they have to solve problems to get where they're going. And then later on we had to learn to catch some stars. And then sometimes our stuff gets stolen. If you don't yell swipe or no swiping. I highly recommend it. But anyway, this is for a much older crowd who grew up with Dora. See, Dora's parents are explorers. And Dora wants to be an explorer. But she's not very responsible in the jungle and keeps getting herself into danger. So they send her to L.A., where her cousin Diego lives. And if you don't know who Diego is, he wants to be an animal researcher in the jungle, but he got sent to LA too. And they now have to go through high school. The only problem is Dora is a little socially inept because he, she grew up remotely in the jungle and she keeps talking to a fourth person who I guess is supposed to be us, but she can see us, but nobody else can. And she has a hard time making friends. Well, then her parents go missing in the rainforest and she gets kidnapped by people who are treasure hunting because treasure hunting is bad and exploring is good. Well, her and her friends get like kidnapped and then they got to find her parents and then they got to find the lost city because that's where the treasure hunters want for all the gold and chaos ensues. And this time it's, a, I don't want to call it violent, but it's perilous and it's funny as fuck. But I do still have three qualms about this movie. Number one is whatever the fuck happened to Backpack. I am afraid for my life. Y'all remember when we bullied the studio to remake Sonic the Hedgehog because he looked scary? Let's just say this is the best picture I have of Boots the Monkey. And number three is a big one. Where the fuck was Tico the Squirrel in his tiny car? That was the best thing about Dora the Explorer was Tico in his tiny car. I stand corrected, I have one more beef because they didn't cast an actress with a giant head. Or they could have put like a mascot head on top of her. But like Dora is known to have a gigantic head compared to her tiny body. And they didn't do that. And they should have taken the opportunity. I'm docking two points for the scary ass backpack and the lack of Tico the squirrel. So 8 out of 10. Also they don't, they kind of sort of sing the songs. But they don't really sing the songs. They didn't do the where are we going? Clap, clap, clap. Anyways, 8 out of 10. Okay, bye. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray! Mama Simos, we did it. We got kidnapped and pooped and in some quicksand. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray!